people feel that solving application problems is one of the main stumbling blocks um, when they're in an algebra class to go through. Uh, when we're looking at solving application problems, if we follow a specific set of steps, it can help us tremendously in terms of setting up the story problem to get the correct equation. And then once you have an equation, you can fall back on the steps that we've already practiced in solving equations in order to get your solution. So I've listed up several steps here that help us in getting our thoughts organized, pulling out the information from our application problem so that we can get to the stage of writing the equation, solving it, and then reporting our answer in sentence form. So first of all, you want to read through the problem and make sure that you know any specific formulas you may need for that particular problem. Um, these formulas might be geometric formulas, they might be formulas that help us um, get interest if they're investment types problems, for distance, rate, and time with uniform motion problems, all of those sorts of things you would want to have at your fingertips. So you want to start thinking about those in step one. In step two, you want to write variable expressions to represent any unknown quantity that you need to figure out in order to answer the, correct, um, answer the question correctly. Make sure that at this stage of the game, you only use one variable when you write your equation that you're going to solve. We're not into the two equations, two variables, situations, or more than that yet. Number three, you want to draw a picture or a chart if it's helpful for the problem that you're doing. Four, write your equation, and usually once you get your equation, you're home free. You just need to solve the equation and then report your answer in sentence form. So let's look at this first example of an application problem. It says a rectangle with a perimeter of 32 centimeters is one centimeter longer than four times its width. Find its dimensions. Okay, so I know it's a geometry problem. It's a geometry problem about a rectangle, and information that I have is the perimeter of the rectangle, and I ultimately want to report its dimensions. Well, its dimensions are how wide it is by how long it is, and so I need to get the length and the width in order to get the answer of the dimensions that I'm supposed to give it at the end. So I know it is an equation that has to deal with the special formula that perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. So I'll write that down now so I remember. Okay, next step, what we want to do is to see what it is that we're going to set our variables to be and write out notes to ourselves so we know how um, we have equated these. So I want to find its dimensions. That means I need to find its length and its width. In the problem, it said that it's one centimeter longer than four times its width. So it's telling me about the length in terms of operations on the width. So the width is what I'm going to have um, my basic variable represent, and I'm just going to use x. So let's let x represent the width of the rectangle. So then next, we read again that it says that that rectangle is one centimeter longer than four times its width. Well, if its width is represented with x, and I want to represent now one more than, longer than, four times its width, that would be four times x, that's four times its width, plus one. One centimeter longer than four times its width. And that represents the length of the rectangle. So what I've done so far is I have read it, noted any specific formula, I've represented each of my unknown quantities with my single variable x and then the operations I need to do on that for how the problem was stated. So next up what I want to do is to write my equation. Now I know I'm going to use this formula that the perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 times the length plus 2 times the width but I'm going to pull the specifics of the information out of the application as well as my variables that I've had as my expressions to represent things. So on the left hand side of my formula is P for perimeter and they told me in the problem that the perimeter is 32 centimeters. So I'm going to write that 
we take out the P and replace it with 32. And then put my equals down, is equal to. Now this is two times the length. So I'm gonna write my two, and I'm gonna multiply it to the expression of the length that is specific to this problem. But my expression for the length has two terms, so I need to grab that in parentheses to make sure that I apply it to the full expression for the length. And then plus two times the width, but my width is represented by just the letter x. So I can put it in parentheses to show that it's multiplied to the x, but since it's just one term, I could have just written it without parentheses as well. Okay, so here's our equation. We next want to solve it. Now, we're solving a linear equation, so this is right back to the steps that we use to solve linear equations. We want to get rid of our fractions and parentheses first. I don't have any fractions, but I do have parentheses. So I have 32 is equal to 2 times 4x is 8x plus 2 times 1 is 2 and then plus my 2 times x is 2x. Let's combine our like terms. That's 32 is equal to this 2x and this 8x are on the same side of the equal sign. So I just want to combine their numerical coefficients and keep the variable part. So this would be 8x plus 2x is 10x plus 2. And now all of my terms with x are on one side. My term that doesn't have an x that's also on the right side, I need to move that to the other side. So we'll subtract 2 from both sides. And we'll get 30 is equal to 10x. And then lastly, we'll divide both sides by the coefficient of the letter. And the coefficient of x is 10. We'll divide both sides by 10 and get that x is equal to, well, 30 divided by 10 is 3. So x is equal to 3. Now we want to write this answer in terms of the question, and it wanted me to find the dimensions of the rectangle. Well, x is 3, and x represented the width of the rectangle. So our width of our rectangle is 3, and then our length of our rectangle, we take our width 3, multiply it by 4, that gives us 12, and then add 1. So that would be a length of 13. So we would get that the dimensions of our rectangle is our 3 centimeters by 13 centimeters to report our answer in sentence form.